father. No apologies, no excuses for what you did to me. I cannot stand your face. I must away. Good luck with your life. So the maiden wandered across the countryside. She was crippled. She was hungry. She was lost. She was alone. So she prayed to God for some assistance, for some sign, for some way to survive. Found the maiden, a hunting party, headed by a prince. And when he saw the beauty in her face, the piety in her eyes, he asked her to be his wife. Were they happy for a time then, before war broke out? Rode the prince off, away campaigning in a far off land. Arrived a baby, an infant son. When the evil one took an interest once again, he wrote out a letter in the prince's hand that read, The mother and child should meet their deaths. So the handless maiden fled with a child struck to her back. Deep into the woods, where she found a cottage, a sign that read, Haven for the innocent. And there they lived, cared for by angel. And when the prince returned from war, he could have died for grief, had he not heard how his wife and child had escaped. And so he set himself to search it. By the time he found that cottage, Seven years had come and gone. So he went inside, but his wife and child hid from him. So he laid himself down to rest. Said the mother to the child, Lay this cloth on your father's eyes. But the boy replied, Mother, how can this be, my father, when every night we say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And mother, do you mean to tell me this is the one who gives us our daily bread? And the handless woman fell to weeping, for her son knew his father not. She thought of her own father, now so many years gone. What would she give for one more day? With him, and deep in her heart, she truly forgave him what he did to her. And as her tears fell, her hands grew back before her eyes. The prince jumped up, and she embraced her family.